undergraduate students, both from Central and Duke, as well as guided under our team leads, all work together, planning the different teaching sessions, um, figuring out how we can engage the teaching participants with the Durham community, figuring out how we can support educators. And really overall, the big long-term goal is seeing how we can implement the community school strategy in Durham, North Carolina. Um, and in terms of like why I decided to teach, like I felt like that was what I was called to do. Like um, I know that um, there's a lot of deficits in education. I knew I wanted to help my community and I know that there's a lot of deficits there. Um, I know that schools are not necessarily a safe space for a lot of black students and specifically science classrooms. So um, I knew because I had a passion for science that like that would be a place where I would be helpful. I think the teachings especially has just been such a unique experience. Just having the opportunity to grab dinner and engage in conversation and enjoy like panelists or presentations or info sessions with DPS educators or meet principals and community school coordinators. It's just nice to come together once a month with just a wide variety of people that all are passionate about education in different ways. Started Teach House last year um, in my first year of teaching and I always say that like I don't think I would still be teaching without Teach House because it's just nice to have like a community of people who are going through a very similar thing. So Teach House is just nice because it's like constant collaboration with other people um, and even if it's not like problem solving it's just nice to talk about your experiences with people who like get it. I needed a place of hope and one of the things that I found coming to these community schools events is there's hope. It's really nice to see the two universities working together. It's one of the few areas where they're working that closely together as, as students. They learn to love each other. They have become a community within themselves and they help to spread the movement that way. Being able to listen to what the information that, they're, that the students are doing, but having these, these groups and these sessions, I believe is very beneficial because you have to start somewhere. And starting from the ground up, I think is the best way to do this. From the data that we've seen and both Obviously, over time, since we've been doing this teaching, we have seen a growth in their knowledge acquisition. Um, in comparison from the first teaching survey to our last, there has been a steady increase in the terms of uh, the knowledge acquired, the knowledge retained, and also uh, the personal connections that they're making with the work of university-assisted community schools and how they could implement it into the schools that they work in. All that they are learning a lot about the movement and they're about the community school model and they're helping other communities understand the model and get excited about the model and want to implement it. Because we're talking about community schools, not just regular education, which is like implement, making sure the families are involved, making sure other community leaders are involved too. So it's, it's a lot that goes into it and we don't want teachers to feel overwhelmed and things like that. So I just think we have a really good group of instructors that we're working with and teaching them about community schools and it's really nice to see how they've implemented what they're learning already. And the hope is that they take what they're learning here and implement it in the spaces that they're in. So they're all gonna be teachers. Maybe some of them will be principals one day or any type of educational leader. And the hope is like the principles that we're talking about and the pillars that we're talking about with community schools, they kind of use that foundation to take with them as they teach in the classroom. That's, that's the real hope.